This is Glasgow's sculpture of hope, but beneath it, for the first time, was a more movable beacon. Never before has the subject of suicide had a symbol like this, a baton that carries so much, but above all, it carries hope. Anna Scott knew that she had to be here. She lost her 23-year-old daughter, Ellen, on this day six years ago. It's certainly given me hope. Has it? How? Yes. In that somebody's actually doing something. And six years on, I've seen so much has happened. It's as if she was part of starting this conversation and she's here with us today. On day one of this UK tour, they set off through the east end of Glasgow and on 40 plus miles to Edinburgh. We've got to smash the stigma uh, and make people understand that, you know, if we keep brushing it under the carpet, it simply will not get any better. Mike is a former Sky News journalist who lost his own son, Ross, two years ago. He was a father himself who asked his family to campaign for better mental health support. To realise that Ross, in his dying moments, thought of a cause that could be champion in a world that he wouldn't be part of. Uh, um, I'm quite proud of it. It's backed by our Olympians, music stars, footballers, royalty and political figures. It's intolerable in modern 2023 Britain that suicide remains the biggest killer of young men in this country. That has to stop, it can be stopped, and I hope that wherever Mike and his team take the baton of hope, that people come out and support them. Each handover means so much. Debbie Ann lost her son Jamie just six months ago. I'll grieve for the rest of my life. I will grieve every single day for the rest of my mm -hmm. life. But if I can help another human being mm -hmm. who, who can't help themselves, that helps me. Mm -hmm. If I can make a, just a slight difference in somebody's life, um, I'll do it. And that's what they want everyone to think about. When it reaches London on July the 6th, the hope is that they have momentum that leads to lasting change. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Glasgow.